Hello and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about the comparison operators which are also called relational operators in the Go language. In generally we call them comparison operators anyway. So what are the comparison operators? We actually make a condition by comparing two operands or two different kind of data. We can even use the text, we can use the numbers, mainly it works with the arithmetical numbers or you can say the integers or floating numbers. Let's just do this by here and because of the comparison operators or you can say the relational operators according to the Go language, we actually learned the if and else program because of this. So let me just do some of it first of all we're gonna oh, we're getting this notifications I'm gonna cancel all them okay so here in this way I'm going here okay and uh, that again come back here I'm going just here okay so here first of all I'm, I'm adding a condition so what condition I'm just adding here can be like six okay now there are many different relational operators we are calling them relational operators specifically because because we are you know talking about the go language mainly here so the six equals to six now now interesting thing is this is not an equal sign or equal actually this is an equal sign but this is not the equal operator in any programming language or specifically the go language anyway okay this is called the assigning operator telling okay let me just go here right and uh, <clears throat> this is an equal to operator interesting now if you say 6 equal to 6 or 5 now we are actually assigning 5 to 6 but we cannot do this because you know the 6 is a number it's not a variable so we use the assigning operator or the equal sign to assign data to the variables like var1 equal to 6 and now here var or just calling var1 and equal to 9 now we are modifying the value just delete that okay awesome now we are just modifying the value the var1 was 6 and now here we just assigned the value of 9 okay but if we just go here in this way so now we are not assigning we are asking if these are equal to each other and ultimately we are uh, we are actually uh, gonna get the answer as false because the var1 is not equal to 10 and how we can actually test this thing we just need to go here oh actually we need to go there uh, I'm deleting these things or at least these things and I'm just going here just cutting that and pasting it a little higher so it will move and here if 6 is equal to 6 then fmt.println and here inside that I'm writing something like hello or something like the statement is okay save it now just go here and run this up and just test if it's fine okay we're getting this statement is okay that's cool now what if we do something different like uh, if I just go here and I type 6 is equal to 8 oh that's not true at all so what the answer we're gonna get here the is oh it should be inside the statement is 
I'm typing OK again anyway, but here, just notice. Okay, we are getting this statement is OK one time, or just to differentiate them, one, and here I'm writing two. Now go there back, just run this up, and now you're gonna see that this statement is OK one, only what one is printed here. The two is still there. That means it's it's not printed because it is wrong. Okay. So what do we do in this case? I need to go here and I need to write again something like that. But for now, I'm going to change the operator. If I want to put the wrong value, um, you know, by intention, I want to add the wrong value like this one. And this one okay six is not equal to nine but I want it to be true that means I want uh, this statement to be true so I need to change the operator okay I'm changing it to the not equal to okay this is exclamatory sign and the equal sign makes the not equal to operator literally if I just go here and let me add it in a list this is not equal to operator okay awesome let me just go here and go inside and fmt dot print ln and here I'm writing the statement is okay and it's number three just go there back and test this up and now here you can see that the statement is what is okay one the statement is okay three but the statement is okay is two is still not okay so what is the meaning actually you know this operator means not equal to so ultimately this whole you know condition this whole condition is true because we're telling if if just start reading from here according to the operator we're telling us that if six is not equal to 9 then print this okay so because 6 is not equal to 9 so according to this operator not equal to the statement is true so to get this block we need to get the statement must be true we will discuss about the if and else statements the specifically the if statement later so no problem we are actually talking about the operators by now so I hope you just got cleared the concept of the not equal to. So in the same way, we are just going to learn some other comparison or the relational operators in the Go language. So here I'm asking if the 6 is less than, this is the less than sign, okay? We are asking if the 6 is less than 7, okay? So just go here. And I'm writing fmt.print ln and just go inside the statement um, for is okay. Okay, let's just test this out. I'm just going here and let's just run it. And now you can see that the statement is okay one, the statement is okay three, the statement four is okay, but still, you know, the two is not okay. But you know what if we just I'm just you know doing a wrong thing by now here the six is or if I type the seven is less than six now what gonna happen here the print Ellen and I'm going inside the statement five is okay and save it again and just going here and just running this up again and now you can see that the statement 4 is okay but still you're not getting this statement 5 is okay okay because this 7 is not less than 6 so in this case we need to use the greater than sign so I'm just gonna use the greater than sign okay now the greater than sign means the closed mouth, the open mouth is on the, you know, uh, left side and the closed mouth is on the right side. It is a greater than sign. So now 7 is greater than the 6.
so now it should work if I just go here and if I just try to run this up and now you're gonna see that the statement 5 is okay okay now one more very basic logic if you maybe you can forget this thing that which is the less than and the greater than sign but it is very easy where you see two points you know that value if that value is big then the statement must be true just focus here okay uh, the two points of this array this arrow you see the two points which is actually the open mouth the open mouth is on a seven the, if the open mouth is where the value is bigger then a statement is true and see here the same thing seven is on a right left side now here it was on a right side but the seven but the open mouth is on a left side too okay so this statement is true so i think this is now cool now if i just do one more thing right here if you know what if i write something like you know seven greater than seven oh that's tricky let's just see what the answer we're gonna get print ln and inside that i'm writing the statement uh six is okay save it now i need to go here and just check if it's fine okay we are not getting the statement six now let's just try to make it the greater than sign instead of the less than sign save it now you know now we've used the greater than sign so i'm going there back and now i'm running it and now it's still we're not gonna get the statement six is okay because it's not okay in both cases so what is the solution they're not greater than each other they're not less than each other they're equal to each other so you can use this sign okay this sign okay what's the meaning meaning of this it is telling that if the seven is greater than or equal to seven here we are adding two kind of values if seven is greater than or equal to seven I think it's pretty simple just go here it's absolutely equal to seven so we're gonna get the statement six, six is okay and in the same direction if I just go here and I write if you know uh, I'm just going here the uh, I'm writing six now I'm using the you know less than sign if six is less than here we talked about the greater than or equal to here we're telling if six is less than or equal to seven here are still a few things you need to know I am gonna talk about them too statement seven is okay save it now I need to go here I need to run that up now you know the statement 7 is okay because the 6 is less than or equal to 6 but the 6 is less than or equal to what equal to 6 but what if I just go here and make something new let me just write it 6 is less than or equal to 8 oh this is now tricky again print ln and i'm writing here the so oh, sorry spelling statement eight is okay save it now i need to go here and run this up go run in xcode the statement eight is okay okay now because the the six is less than eight okay it's not equal to now we are we have two kind of conditions here because it's suppose it's supposedly one operator which actually uh, pose two kind of conditions oh, and we have to be true in either one condition so here you can see that the six is not equal to eight but six is less than eight what if I just use the greater than sign now if I just go here and I, I run this and now I'm not gonna get the 8 is okay anymore because the 7 is okay is the last one because the 6 is 
not greater than 8 ultimately it's less than 8 and 6 is even not equal to 8 so in both conditions this condition is false according to this operator which is greater than and equal to so this is why this block of code is not working so i think now you're understanding all of the logic of these interesting blocks the comparison or you know uh, the relational operators in the go language so in the next video we're going to talk about some logical operators they are very interesting you must know them but before learning the logical operators you must need to completely understand the comparison or actually the relational operators in the go language actually you know because of the i work on many programming languages so i normally call the relational operators as the comparison operators because it's a general name Anyway, in the next video, we will meet again.